What is up, everybody? Rich here from the Sports Reaction. Still guest hosting on Sports Reaction, subbing in for Ant in July. It's been a lot of fun doing it, and this was a request. Aussie rules explained for the AFL. I don't know what that is. American Football League and back in the day, but right now, no idea. Right, well, looks like the NFL, kind of. Oh. Okay. No, it's not rugby. It's Australian football, although you might hear it called Aussie rules or even footy. This is Australia's biggest sport and is now played professionally by Never heard of it. teams in the AFL. It has the fourth highest average attendance of any domestic sports league in the world. Wow. These are some serious fans. What do you say we talk basics? Aussie Rules is played on a football field probably bigger than any you've ever seen. Dang. An egg-shaped ball that takes some crazy bounces. Each team consists of 18 players on the field and four on the bench. 18? That's a lot of... Tremendous athletes. These players are basketball-sized with the hands and foot speed of an NFL wide receiver and stamina greater than a soccer player. This is interesting. It's a main event in any stadium in the world. The game starts with a center bounce, a bit like a basketball jump ball. The basic object of the game, like American football, is to move the ball down the field and score. Wants to go all the way. Everybody wants to score. Oh, so how you score? You got to kick it. Move the ball three ways: the running, but you have to bounce it every 16 yards. One, two, three, fifteen, six. Oh. Alright, so he's a little Hadouken. And of course the most common way is kicking it. Alright, good old boot. Like a quarterback using feet instead of hands, these guys can hit a teammate on the run at 50 yards. If the kick is a little high, a player may have to jump and make a spectacular catch. This is called a mark. What a mark! I gotta get some ups. Is that legal? And believe it or not, you can use the opponent as a springboard for jumping. Wow. If you take a mark, you can keep going, or you can stop on the spot and take an unimpeded kick. Score 140 to 73. Position, the idea is to kick the ball through the two large upright posts. That's a goal and worth six points. Alright. If you hit the post, Three. or send it between the big post and the outer lower post, All right. it's worth one point and is called a behind. A final score line might look something like this. So gold and behind? Or... By the way, there's no offside rule. Don't get us wrong, there are positions. Defenders defend. Forwards go forward. And midfielders, yep, play in midfield. This is better from Hawthorne. We know what a good kick he is, but he sends Hill up the line outside. He goes back into Hale. 70 meters out, too far to score. Gives off here to Suckling. Suckling with a low nice center. Kick. Players come in all shapes and sizes. The Fremantle Dockers have 5'8", Hayden Valentine. Oh, Six guy. Three, Nate Fife, and 7-footer, Aaron Sandilands. Okay. They tackle hard, but not too high or low. It has to be between the shoulders and the knees. Okay. There are four quarters of 20 minutes, but like soccer, time is added on for stoppages of play. Stop the time. extra time can be as much as 10 additional minutes. AFL teams play 22 regular season games. The top eight teams make the playoffs, or as they're called in Australia, the finals. Eventually, two teams meet in the championship game or the grand final. 
It's Australia's Super Bowl and is played every oh, year. Big in Super Bowl. I don't want to call it that because that's the NFL in America. Ninety thousand plus. It's a ninety thousand. <laughs> Probably not. I've never heard of this. Go. Okay, we'll be doing that here, but that looks cool. It reminds me a lot of the NFL with the way they score their kicks, it's similar to a punt in the NFL. Which we just kick the ball up and try to aim it. Now this video is four years old, so is this still is this still really popular in Australia? Hello there. Let's, uh, let's pause this on a bit. There we go. Right. Pause this on the smiling lady. I know what I'm doing. So to you guys that are watching, the AFL, where is it at now in 2019? Is it just as popular as it was in 2015? Is it ascending? Is it descending? I'm curious. Let me know in your comments below. I might not respond to every comment you guys leave because I am doing content on my own channel. Hey, cheap plug, sports reaction, link in the description below. So it's very difficult to not only maintain all the comments on my own channel, but also on Ant's channel. But I'll certainly take a look at everything, and I do read them all. I just don't have time to you know, personally respond to every single one. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hit the old thumbs up for the sports reaction and the host sports reactions. Of course, again, if you like what I'm doing, check out my channel. I do live play-by-plays for entire games, not for, for you know highlight videos or informational videos such as this, but for entire events, two, three, sometimes five hours, as I did the longest Wimbledon Finals match in history recently. That was a long stream, about five hours. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, for more sports action, be sure to check out Sports Reactions and the Sports Reaction. Thank you.